understeer from Francois this time. And Felix Lindbell feels the pressure, DB to tire. Way too deep. Keeper's car was going to pull away from the start line then. Shanahan through the gears, goes for the opposite flick, makes it work. But look at the keeper, he knows he needs to stick with Connor Shanahan and he gets close on initiation. Down they come through into outside zone four and Shanahan sprints the car and that allows the keeper to enter the pocket. He gets up onto the wheel, they transition through fire and they look for the wall as Shanahan accelerates away. Can the keeper gain back that lost ground? It doesn't look like he can as they get it done. They want to have to use it against Wayne McKeever. They screen down an already separation. And McKeever absolutely fires that car in on initiation. Big transition back. Now Shanahan shortcuts the circuit. They jump into outside zone four. And Shanahan is wheeled to door. And they transition back for the wall they go. Shanahan knows he can't let him go. And he can, he goes. He shallows up the angle once again. McKeever across the line. Well, we got a, a decision in, and taking third step on the podium will be Dwayne McKeever. Here we go. The light goes green, they go through the chicane and down and through the gears. Heinen jumps the start, he knows he can't let Vincent get away, and he doesn't, he doesn't let Vincent get away. and shallows up the angle, then looks for the side of the S15, dials it back in now as they transition for the wall run. Absolutely insane for Vincent behind them. It's still there, he's not letting the champion get away. One last run to the day, behind second Heinen, here we go. Look at Vincent, he's not letting Heinen get away with this one, but he does let a little bit of separation open up. Can he really mean is that the game? Oh! Throws it off the circuit. He tries to go faster than he's been all weekend and it doesn't pay off. And once again, another driver falls foul to try to overdrive their car as Vincent puts down a showmanship. Once again, here at round one, and Vincent proves why he is number one. Said it before, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, holding your nerve in those difficult situations. And Laurie Heinen gets to his first final and just over pushes it in. He had to, he had to over push it, he had to try and overdrive the car. But that little bit too much was a little bit too much because for once all weekend, Laurie Heinen has put a foot wrong and we can see it right here. Look at this, fires the car in on the throttle nice and early and as he starts to feel the grip build on the back end of that S13, the front end pushes him off into the grass. The official result winning the event two years in a row is Peter Vjainsek. Peter Vjainsek wins round one of the Driftmasters European Championship.